How much of your market does your brand actually have control of on Amazon? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over exactly how you can figure that out. All right, guys, in this example, to figure out exactly how much of the market share our brand has control of, we're going to be using the market tracker tool within Helium 10. Go over to the sidebar here and pull out and under the analytics, tab, you'll see market tracker. I'm not going to go into exactly how to set it all up for that. Go ahead and go into the learn videos and it'll show you exactly how to set it up. But I am going to give you a brief example of how we set ours up. So as you can see here for this one, we're going to look at, we added 21 products that were very similar, basically like variations of one another. They're going to represent our share of the market in this example. We also added five very relevant keywords. Now, this is a very important part of this. You'll want to add five keywords that are highly relevant, short tail and long tail, give you a good range to allow Amazon to then be able to select the competition that you can then verify one way or another, whether you want them to be a part of this analysis. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into it and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so as you can see here, after adding all of our products, this is an example we just set up yesterday. We don't have a lot of data yet, only a couple days here, but you can see the market volume after we've added 58 products, 21 of those being ours. And with that, you can see the total revenue here of 289K for the market in the past 30 days. So all of this, you can go up here, you can double check that, that's for 30 days, all right? Same across all of these. Helium 10 is basically gonna use this information information to then give you suggestions on different competitors. Okay. And then it's going to be up to you to decide whether to track more. You can see we've already started tracking a lot of these, but you know, there's new suggestions in here and say, if we wanted to look at more, just the suggestions, we can go over here and look at product suggestions to just show those. And we can go through and decide if we want to add more or if we want to ignore them. Now we can also look at our products okay so the ones we picked if we needed to but basically the 21 products that we selected to represent our market share is right here so you can see in this case we currently own 68.6 percent of the market and our competitors have much smaller slices of the, the pie. So one of the obvious things you can take away from this right away once you plug all this info in is you can immediately see where you stand versus your competitors. Now, as time goes forward, as we're continually tracking, we'll be able to see looking at this data over here, are we gaining, are we losing market share? We have competitors gaining or losing market share. We'll be tracking them as we go forward. We'll be tracking if we add more products and what that total revenue ends up being. Or if we don't add any more products, just general revenue overall market cap goes up over time for the category. Increase in demand for these products on Amazon. That could drive the overall market cap or revenue share up. So what's another way you can use this data. You can specifically target these competitors with your sponsored product, product targeting ads, or sponsored display product targeting ads. All right. So you can steal more of their market share away and you can track that progress, how effective you're being. Besides just looking at, I'm getting a lot of sales and it's a good A cost. Are you actually gaining more market share? So you can track that over time. Now, another cool thing we can do is take a look at a specific competitor and get more details on it. We can see their power score. This is what they rate the competitor as far as whether or not you should be tracking them or not. And you can see how many reviews they have. You can get a chart of that really easily. You can see their rating for those reviews, their price. So this is, you know, important if you were trying to see if maybe it's not right here, right off the bat, you can see, okay, maybe my products price way higher. Maybe it's not worth going after this product. You'd see their estimated sales, their estimated revenue. If I start taking away some of their market share, I could really do some damage. There's a lot left on the table, $27,000 a month that this guy's doing that I could potentially take a part of. All right. You can see their BSR over time and get that charted out, kind of moving sideways over 90 days over 
overall, this trend line showing them moving sideways. They've actually been mid selling since October 2021. So we can track their BSR, see how they're doing there. All good data, see whether they're FBA or FBM or not, and their current market share, just like on the pie chart up here. So yeah, guys, if you don't have Helium 10 yet and you want to check it out, you want to try this tool out within Helium 10 along with the others, there is a link down below in the description for 50% off your first month. Check that out. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you got some value out of this video, and I will see you in the next one.